目前小黄人在斯卡丘物流中心、呃、自动化流程中，那么处于 B to B 订单、B 副类产品的分解环节上面。那么我们呃选用这一套系统，取代了传统的原有的捡选强的分解方式，呃，使得我们物流中心的 B 副类产品分解能力较原来提高了四倍以上。Hello everyone. This is、uh, Ron Anshan from Libya Robotics. Here we are in Skechers, the one of the biggest、uh, fashion sportswear all over the world.、Uh, we are now in Skechers Logistics Center in eastern China. This is one of the biggest logistics center、uh, for Skechers. It serves not only、uh, for over 400 shops all over China, but also the, for the online online orders. Uh, this year, Skechers has has、uh, implemented a new weapon, Libya Robot Sorting System. Do you know that Double Eleven is the biggest、uh, biggest online shopping festival in China, and you know it's always a challenge for the logistic、uh, team.、Uh, it happens November the eleventh. It means last week. And you know, these guys, we already handling this big challenge、uh, with their new weapon, the Libya robot sorting system. So, let me introduce you the Skechers new weapon. Here we go. So here you see, there's a double layer、uh, platform.、Uh, it's about、uh, 1,700 square meters. Each of the layer equipped. Eight induction stations and 180 robots. So totally, there's、uh, 16 induction stations and、uh, 360 robots. The sorting capacity of the whole platform is 13,000 pieces per hour. Okay, in each of the induction stations, there will be one operator to handling this kind of. Uh, uh, Handling this kind of uh, items uh, from the conveyor lines, from the conveyor lines, and here you see、uh, every one is busy. Here you see it's a double platform, double layer platform. Here is up layer, here is down layer. So up layer has up layer induction, down has down、uh, inductions.、Uh, up layer 180 robots, down layer 180 robots. Okay. The items coming here, and we open the boxes, scan the barcode, scan the barcode, and we take one items with the with the barcode on the top to put it on the to put it on the induction stations, and the robot will go automatically. Okay, so you see all these kind of、uh, sorted items will bring by these conveyors. Now they are querying in these induction stations. And here, they they have totes and cotton boxes. If it's totes, it's open open side,、uh, and the operator will pick the items. Will pick the items and put it onto the robot itself, and should be with the barcode on the top. And then the the camera scan the barcode automatically, and the robot go. To the right destination, which is his order or his shop, and you see that it's showing very quickly. Less than one second, the robot go, and it's very easy for the for the operators. Normally,、uh, we we take about、uh, one hour training for、uh, for our operators. It can handling smoothly. And for Skechers, they they divided this kind of、uh, box incoming items with two types. One is counting orders. Another is non-counting orders. Counting orders means、uh, the operator need to count.、Uh, they they 
they will not finish all the items from, from the box. Uh, for example, here are 10, uh, 10 t-shirts uh, and they only need five of them. So they pick, they pick this kind of five items, uh, sorting, and here will show, show that uh, these items will still need a five or four and finish this kind of item sorting. Uh, they, will, they will pack the, the, uh, the, the box and uh, push it into the takeaway line and back to the warehouse. And another one is uh, non-counting line. Non-counting line means you will finish all the items in the box or in the totes. And just put the empty box and go back to the takeaway line. So here you see the, op the operation is very smooth. And it's efficiently in increase the, the, the capacity, the sorting capacity. Uh, with this kind of 16 uh, induction stations, the sorting capacity can reach, oh, reach 13,000 pesos per hour, pesos per hour. Oh, I have scan this So, uh, firstly, the operator will scan the totes or the cotton boxes uh, to define this, these items are in this sorting plane and this uh, item is counting for the counting orders or non-counting orders. And then it will, it will show on, on, uh, op, on this uh, interface of the operator system. For the whole system, you see, basically, it will bring all these cotton boxes with the the, all, the the items need to be sorted, bring by these conveyors, by the lower conveyors, and also take away by these conveyors. So here is the induction stations. Here is the induction stations for Libya Robots sorting system. Uh, the operators will be standing here, and each, all of the robots will come into this induction area. Here, the structure of this induction is uh, you will, it will be organized. Blah 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 blah. Wait a minute. I I I I I I I I I I I I I I of uh, Libya robot sorting system. It it is equipped the con the operation system one touch screen with all these kind of systems shown here and uh, two scanning cameras two scanning cameras to scan the barcode on on items and uh, all the all of the robots will coming from the query area here you see now if there's nobody operate on that the robots will query at this area at in induction area and waiting for their tasks so basically the, uh, the operator should take take the items take the items from the box and put put an item on the robot and the camera will scan the barcode or to scan the bar barcode automatically and the robots will go to the right destination uh, over there over there later i will show you all the suits so you see here is the robot we choose for sketchers uh, what we call it, it's a, a high tilt tray robot uh, because sketchers would like to using this robot to sorting their uh, apparels make both for summer wear and winter wear so we will also we will not only consider the small pieces like a t-shirt but also the big items like uh, jackets uh winter wear jackets or uh, sweaters and here uh you see that uh, over here it's there is a black carpet on the platform we call it magic carpet so it is not only a carpet but the function of this carpet is location uh, positioning all these robots and also do the navigation
for all the robots and connecting with the ro uh, with, with the Libya robot uh, control system and the RCS system. So here you see are the charging stations. Uh, each of the layer has this kind of charging stations uh, and you know our robots can uh, charging very quickly it's a quick charge uh, charging each of the robot charging five minutes and running for four hours running for four hours here you see all the robots when the battery is low it will go to the charging station automatically automatically and when it's over 80 percent of the battery it will go back for working go back for working so each of the charging station can take in care of 15 robots, 15 robots. So here 180 robots, we can take care of it's about uh, 12 charging stations, 12 charging stations. Uh, so basically you see with this kind of quick charge, all the robots are continuously working. If you're working for 20 hours per day, the robots only charging five times. Here are the 432 shoots which I mean uh, the destinations for the robots. It also means the over 400 shops for Skechers, for Skechers all over China. And here you see uh, both of the up layer and down layer uh, robots will throw the, the items into these vertical shoots, into these vertical shoots. And uh, when the items accumulated in the accumulated in these vertical shoots it will show a green light a green light green light means the task has complete task has complete and and here is a screen will show the type of the boxes here it shows number 10 cotton boxes so the operator will bring a number 10 cotton box put it here put it here and uh, he will push the green, green button uh, because basically these doors are closed basically the, the door are closed and when the task is uh, complete you push the green button it will open and all the item will slide down into this container into this container and operator will getting these items into the into the boxes and uh, pack the items and push the finished uh, bo uh, cotton boxes onto the takeaway line. Takeaway line. So that means the task is open. Each of these 432 has a shoot ID. Each shoot has a shoot ID. And uh, the boxes has a, also a barcode, it's a box ID. So the operator needs to scan the shoot ID and scan the, bo scan the barcode on the boxes to match the, the bo cotton box with the shoes. Here you see uh, the server cabins. So this is the server for the RCS system. Here is the server screen. Uh, what you see here is the uh, RCS or robot control system for the Libya robot sorting system. Like the ginger. So you can see from the screen you see here, this is a layout for the platform and the moving round dots are the robots so here you see this is uh, the up layer 180 robots online and with average voltage and the WES is online and here you will see the sorting capacity now of course they, they, they are not uh, working uh, entirely so it's about 3000 uh, PPH so from this RCS, you can control or monitor all the platform. If you have an uh, urgent issue happens, you can also push the uh, emergency stop. The whole platform are controlled by Livio RCS robot control system. So all of the these 360 robots are connected with the Livio RCS. Uh, we use our own AP, AP system to connecting the robots and the RCS system. Uh, it's working very stable, very stable. And uh, you know, the, 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 the main advantage of our RCS is we can 
use the RCS to control over thousands of robots to uh, help each of the robots to find the, the best loot. So this is the robot sorting system from Libya Robotics. You see, this is an intelligent robot sorting system. It is energy saving. Each of the robots is only like a lamp, 30 watts, and uh, it's easy deployment. We, it, this, such a big system is only implemented within three months. And normally, a small system can be down within one month, even two weeks. And this is also very flexible. It's very flexible. So here is phase one of Sketchers. As they consider, it's a uh, uh, one uh, eight, uh, 13, 13,000 PPH and 432 shoots as phase one. And in phase two, probably in two years, they will extend into over 18,000 PPH and over 600 shoots to be a much bigger platform. And we can do the extension within one month. And you see, there's a lot of advantages. Compared to the cross belt sorter, it is only uh, occupy one third of the space. Here is uh, 100, 1,700 uh, uh, square meters. But in the neighbors, there's a cross belt sorter which takes over 6,000 square meters. And the uh, energy, the whole energy consumption is, is, he, is about 20% of the cross belt sorter. And we can provide uh, as many shoots as you want. Now it's 432, in future 600, even 1000, we can achieve it. So it's a magic system, it's a magic platform. So especially in the shoes and apparel industries, people like it very much.